This is Michelle. She's about 30 feet up a tree on her way to look for insects. Ooh, there's a wasp nest up here. But she's not looking for wasps. Okay. Maybe it's old. She's looking for ants. And this is actually her last climb after spending four field seasons up in trees, figuring out who lives in the canopy. So in the summer, it was like way easier to find the ants because they were like out and about and doing things. Ugh. But then like now, they've been, they've been a lot harder to find. So that day that I went out in the field with Michelle, she didn't find any ants in that tree. But I went out with her because there's not very many people climbing trees to collect insects. And I think the research she does is extraordinary. So I went with her to learn more about what she does. Yeah, as far as I know, I'm the only person in this part of the world who's ever done a study involving um, climbing up trees to see what insects are living up in the canopy. Yeah, this tree's special because there uh, is a colony of the rare Aphenogaster species, Aphenogaster mariae. So it was described in like the 1860s and since then has only been collected a you know, few handfuls of times. So rare in the sense that it's hard to find, but also rare in the sense that even as I've been all around here climbing and sampling um, more than 100 trees in this area, we've only found it in five trees total. When I started this project and when I pitched this project, people were kind of skeptical about it because we were like, nothing really lives in the canopy year round. And my work has proven that that's not the case. And we're finding lots of species that live up there and that use the canopy as a resource. There's a orange flag marking a little knob in the tree up there. And that's where there's an ant nest. And there's a thermocouple up in the tree and since November has been recording the temperature of the inside of the ant nest once an hour, every hour. So what I've learned from putting all these thermocouples out is that the canopy has a much more extreme environment. It has hotter hots and colder colds than the ground does. Once I collect the ants in the canopy and on the ground, I really want to know their thermal tolerances. So I have these little thermal chambers that I can put the ants in, and then over a period of hours, I can slowly increase or decrease the temperature to test the ants' thermal limits. And what we're finding is that ants that live up in the canopy are more adapted to this extreme environment. They're able to handle hotter temperatures. At the core of it, I think this work is important because it's giving us a better picture of what's going on in these forests that we are living near. We're in a state park that people visit all the time, right off the trail. We can hear the highway. There's a power line right there. And we're just a few meters off the ground and discovering rare species. So we're learning about how organisms live in extreme ecosystems and extreme environments that haven't been studied before. We're so close to all of this undiscovered biodiversity um, and it's fun to be a part of documenting and changing the perspective on that.